Two trillion is just one place that the White House is looking for new revenues for a jobs program. So what you do is you take that two trillion back, you tax it at some amount, and you take the revenue from that and sort of designate it for a new jobs program. So it looks a little bit like tax repatriation. It's not entirely clear how this differs from some of Obama's earlier proposals. What's really clear here, Tom, though, yeah. is that the White House and President Obama is decoupling individual tax reform from corporate tax reform. That's the big headline out of this, right. because they accept that individual tax reform grand bargain is pretty much dead. If you want to have anything, right. any movement for jobs, <clears throat> you do it on the corporate side. And they haven't worked out the details or the price tag. But let's bring in Carlos Gutierrez with business experience at Kellogg's, but also, of course, the former Secretary of Commerce. This has to be a constructive mood, but it's in a polarized Washington. Can anything get done? Well, it, you know, again, they're trying to raise revenues which is the last thing I think the, the, the government needs. In the president's speech, one thing that was very clear is that there, there's confusion in this administration regarding who creates jobs. They think, they really do think that the government's role is to create jobs. So, and, and it's a one-dimensional idea. We've got to do a stimulus, roads and bridges. It, you know, it, there, there's, there's no economic creativity, and I, and I do believe there's a fundamental misunderstanding of how the economy works. Well, Hans Nichols, why don't you respond to that. You've been covering this White House since President Obama came yes. in in the first term. Sure. I mean, uh, there is an acceptance that the, most of the job growth has to come from the private sector. However, they do want to do some public spending. So the last time we got a big spending package from the White House, this is the jobs program in 2011. There's about $50 billion for infrastructure, for modernizing certain and, and repairing roads, uh, roads yeah. and bridges and whatnot. So there is that argument there. Look, I, I'm not an economist, right? And, and so I'm not quite certain on how you stimulate aggregate demand. But that, to me, seems to be the challenge that the White House has, is how do you get demand just a little bit stronger so you can bring down job growth? And they're tweaking right. it on the edges. But there's a recognition. You, you need the Fed for a lot of this stuff. Congress is stuck. So this is, this is very okay. marginal. Let's not talk about this as a big plan.